Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we basically had some massive realisations as to, you know, how this actually works. So... Yeah, that was uh, an eye-opening experience. Now, what that means for today is it means I do want to try and do a little bit of um, redesigning on some of the setup we've currently got. So, first thing I'm going to do is take that out and this, and we then need to put this here, and then I'm going to want two pickers on this one to double that up and move it in even faster. Okay. And then this one is going to go around here. And you will continue to have the one. Okay. So that's now going to... Because this is the thing. I had such an eye-opener last week about having multiple ins and outs. So again... That is actually... Is that insufficient power? Oh my days, we're still shy on power. Fine, okay. So, I now want to... If we're having a problem with power, I want to automate our wind turbines. So, we're currently automating constructors. What do we need for the wind turbines? Where are we? Buildings. So, that requires plates, cogs, and electromagnets. Okay. Yeah, okay, alright, so, I have had suggestions that I redesign the entire base already, and I'm, I'm beginning to kind of see why people are suggesting that, I really am. Um, however, let's try and have a look, so we've got plates, fine, we can pull those out, we've got electromagnets over there, where are we making cogs? Where are we making cogs? Are we making cogs? Okay, so we've got some down here. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're pulling all of that through. You've got some backed up, so you are actually using all of that. Okay. So I feel like... Uh, right, okay. I'm not producing enough of these, so. Oh, right. Let's take that down. And we need to build another one of these. No, I don't need to build it, because I've got them here. There we go. And then, I kind of wish I could just move that, because I don't need it destroyed, I just need it moved. Right, okay. Let's put that... Uh, over here. Uh, we can then... Maintain that there. Does mean this is going to need to go, and then we're going to need to bring... This... A long... Oh, I'm out of belts. Sure we were making belts, weren't we? Do I have one making belts? Yes, over here. Right. Grab those. Now, how far can these actually reach? Yeah, I know, I know there's no connection. Right. Does it tell me on there? Cycle speed, low track... Assumption. It doesn't. But I. Okay, so let's do the plan here. So you are going to go in like that. And someone was telling me, I apologise, I don't remember who it was. But I was told that if I get a depot and I put it on top of the conveyor, it will act like a buffer. Which, if that works, that's going to be amazing, right? No, it says collide with other object there. 
Okay. That's a shame. Fine. So, in which case, let's... I don't know. Uh... How do I do this nicely? So, I kind of need that to come off and go into a buff bar. Yeah, so if we do... Yeah, hang on. If we do that... Let's make sure we're on the same line. And that means this can come... Across like that. And it means I've got three outputs here. Three outputs here. And then have three inputs here. Uh, this one requires the three inputs to feed it. Like so. And you need to be told you're making cogs. And then... Then I need to put a... Again, I'm running out of room, which I don't like. Uh, let's take this down. Right, so that's now... F wow, that's filling at a decent rate. Okay, insufficient power. Ah, right, okay. So, let's continue working on this. Uh, I need to have... See, I was thinking about bringing three down there. I suppose then I can bring three up that way, can't I? So, yeah, if we bring the three down here to load this belt... We then put our production here. You know what? Let's just do that, because someone told me I could drag click like that, which is amazing. Right, and then you're feeding in. Ooh, like that. You guys are making the buildings for me. Yep. Okay, which then means I need to bring the iron plates over. Though actually... Right, this isn't satisfactory. I can just have... I can just do mixed plates like that, can't I? Uh, although you're now full of those. That's not going to work, is it? Let's get another wind turbine. Uh, okay. So, because you're you're not going to pick any more of those off, are you? Replication complete. Okay. Well, now we've got these. There we go. Drag those out. That's as close as they can get then. Okay, so you're bringing those in. Are you going to grab... Yeah, so you did take that. But you're now not getting enough. Okay. Alright, so that does suggest I am going to need to have separate belts... Okay, uh, and I need to have another windmill down here. Can you make me just the one? No, okay. Right, why is this slowing down? You guys are producing at full whack, okay. But that would suggest that I am not producing enough. Uh, 
Yeah, see that is staying full. Okay, fine. So let's get another smelter. Yeah, one of these things, please. Produce one. Uh, and then, actually, let's take these down. Good, thank you. Production smelters. And then... Let's put you guys as far down here as I can get you. You guys are making... Plates, please. Copy. Paste. Paste. Ah, nice, I like that, okay. Then we can go... So this is just all the... Stuff that I'm basically learning. Right, so that's three in there like that. We've got a whole extra burner now. Then we need to bring the conveyors along here like this. And we have... Oh, I've got to wait for them to be built. So I can start with these ones. Right, hang on. Right, there to there. And then you guys are doing that. To offload. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, and then actually, let's upgrade these ones because I need to get those off quickly. To try and feed everything else. Because that is going out fast. What I think really surprises me is how much of a difference the actual um, travel time makes for these little conveyor uh, bar things. Okay. So that's then that sorted. Now, if we bring you along here and run parallel like that, Okay. Can I then do an additional... No, because you're going to tell me that's going to collide. Okay. Fine. So, let's check... The recipe. So, we need... Way more cogs than... Okay. So, what I suggest we do is... If we take out the middle ones... And then we grab... These... And we use the middle one to bring the iron in... That should sort that out. Then I can bring... This along here? I mean, that windmill is in the way there. Uh, power. Insufficient materials. Windmill. Too close. So it had to go there, didn't it? No, that works. Yeah, pop it there, in the middle. Okay, and then if we bring this belt down here... And then go across like so... Then we can put these loaders here... Okay. I've not thought how I'm getting these ones out. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to have to do that. Hang on, where was my... Where's my slope? Alright, hang on. Let's get the that back. Hmm. And 
And that was a bit I'd not considered. Right, so... These three are easy, because now I can put storage... Where are we? Where's storage? There's storage. Put that there. And then you can literally just ship it straight out. So that's those three done. Do need another wind turbine, or... Yeah, one of these power poles will do... Right, okay. There we go, just to extend that out. Right, get that working. But it is still, how do I unload this one? Research complete. Right, because... If I did put that... Starting position there. Right, we can do that. And then... Can you get up there? You can. Okay. And then... You can let me do that. And there. Oh. No, I can't do the third one. Okay. Still, that's that's a decent rate to bring it out at. And then I can bring... You round here? I think maybe I just double it back. And then... Again, kind of need that windmill to move. Right, okay. And then you can come down here. And go there. And then put that windmill back in place. Over there to keep the power up. And you can feed in there. Like so. Why are you two not actually hooked up? There you go. Cool. Right, okay. And the spaghetti begins. So. That's now doing that, which is fine. What was it I wanted to automate? That was it. It was the windmills, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, blimey. Okay. So you guys are now properly making these iron plates. Wow, but you are going through them as quickly as you are burning through them. Okay. What is our power grid at the moment? Yeah, we're basically on the edge. Okay. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. So, let's try and so we need the plates. Everything's so disparate at the moment. That, that I think is my problem. I've got all things being built all over the shop. Like, I need to get these bits over here. But I don't have a great way of doing that. Right, okay. So you're making this one. And that's fine, because you're actually going at a... Oh no, you need more of the rings. You are not making those rings fast enough. Okay, well, that's fine. There you go. There's another ring input for you. Is that hopefully going to sort out your ore problems? Just increasing your input like that? Yes. So you're now making 40 a minute. You require, but it doesn't tell me how many of these it needs a minute. That's the problem. It tells me the output. It doesn't tell me the input a minute. And I, I really need that from a from a satisfactory point of view so that I know what's going on right okay so uh, yeah we need to get these down here still not producing enough of those you have enough ore? you have enough ore 
you now have enough ore. Okay, well that's good. But it suggests that we're still not making enough. Okay. Uh, right. I really don't want to have to rip all this down, but it feels like that is the right thing to do at the moment. It's just tear all of it down. Doubly size the research is slowed at the moment because we're not making enough stuff. Yep. Okay. So that's our matrix lab. I mean, that's... That is kind of going still. Right, okay. So... If we're going to try and tear this down... Ooh, I really don't want to do that. But at least we've got the cover of the guns at the moment. So... I think if we're going to do that... Let's start. Ooh, this feels bad. Right, okay. So take that, take that. Take that. Right, come on. Take all that down. Uh, take that, take that. Right, okay. Take that. Okay, so. First things first. Let's properly maximise our input. Into here. So that means I want this picker also going in there and then you three are just going to stuff this. Okay. Cool. So that is now stuffed. Excellent. Take that down for the moment. Copper line, you're probably next. Okay. Then we're going to want production. So that's... Yeah, I do want to take that down. Oh, mm, telling me I've got too much stuff. Okay. So... Right, let's take that down. So we've got a tower there. Uh, and... Not enough room. Right, so let's take the... Where are we? Production. I want three of these. I'm going to need a belt, aren't I? So let's make three of the making plates and three of the making rings. So if we do... Yeah, I've just got... I've made it too compact. So, yeah, I'm going to need to take all of that down. Yes... Take all of that. Hope I can pick all that up. Uh, right. And then you're going to have to go down like that. Okay. You've got to come down. Because I need to whoop, work out where we're going to put these. So, what I'm thinking is we have production... And we go one, two, three there. And then we have you looping down like that. And coming around the back. Okay. You guys are going to be making plates. So can you copy that recipe, paste, and paste? We then need these three going to load this. Actually, though, I want level two ones. Because I'm really only going to have them coming out this one side, so I want that to be as quick as possible. 
you guys are going to feed in here. Right, like so. You're then going to have your own belt coming out this way for you to load all of that onto. Right, and then... There we go. Cool, so that's going to do all of that. Then we're going to bring this belt around here. I'm going to double it back and swoop along. Do I want to swoop along this way? Yeah, we'll swoop along this way. And then come up there like that. And we will have Mark 2's feeding in there like that. Uh, but I'm missing those. Okay, that's fine. We can try and make more Mark 2's. Can't we? Items. No, they are buildings. There we go. Uh, yeah, three will do. Right. And then you're also feeding in there like that. Cool. So that's going to feed all of that. This requires power over here now. So now we can come back over and we can put our... Insufficient what do you mean insufficient materials? I took it down. Where is my Tesla tower? Where'd it go? Oh, it's, you're going to tell me it's because I didn't have the space for it at the time, aren't you? Right. Fine. Let's go to the replicator and let's turn... I mean, that's all one-to-one, -one, but, you know. Let's get on with it. Right. Yeah, I need a... This is why you automate this, isn't it? You don't try and manually do this because that's a lot of clicks. Right, okay. Then you're going to make me create a new Tesla tower. I'll just make the one. Uh, and then how do I... Remove all litter. I don't know what that means, remove all litter. How do I pick up these bits of... Stuff dropped on the floor? Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Ah, uh, there's my production and consumption. Okay. Interesting. It's good to know that's there. Right, okay. So then... Uh, you were originally copper plates, weren't you? So let's just put those in there. Because I'm going to be making loads of it, so I need it put down. Where's my core? Let's put that in the fuel chamber. Because I don't need those there. Right. Uh, you require your iron rings. So then we can come across here to production again. Give a bit of gap. And we go one, two, three. What object? You oh, you're colliding with that smelter. That... Okay. Well, we'll do it that way then. Doesn't mean I'm going to have to move that Tesla Tower as well. Uh, and you're in the way, so guess what, Miner? Oof. This feels so strange to be doing this early on, to pull it all apart like that. But it does feel like it's the right thing to do. Because this is then just going to allow me to get more going right put you all there oh right and you guys are going to be making the rings please right, copy paste paste okay so they're making the rings fine you still require power but that fabricator is still going on Oh, wow, that's going to be a while. Yeah. Right, might as well dump all of this back in here. Because, again, I don't want those. 
You require these rings to start coming through, don't you? Okay. If I pick this up... And then... Move you here? There we go. Okay, so that's kind of sorted that out and that's given me the space that I need. Uh, let's have a look at storage. Uh, let's put that there and then hopefully yeah I can fit that there excellent so I'm gonna bring you along here like this uh, put you there like that and then you need to hook into that cool so now you are all going in like that you're I'm just gonna hook straight up instead of belting you across Oh, I'm out of movers. Okay. Didn't I... Wasn't I making them somewhere? Yes, I was. So let's grab some of those. Right, there's that sorted. You guys need to all offload yours. So we can do this. Right, that gets all that out. Okay. Okay. good. Right, so that's now stuffing that properly. That's excellent. Okay. That's at least restarted that to let that keep going. Right, okay. So, the great factory reorganisation has begun, but I think we are definitely going to need to pick this up again later, I might need to move all the science stuff and have copper going somewhere. I do want advice on this from you guys. How do you um, basically set up some kind of logistical system? How what, what systems do you use to make sure that you can get everything everywhere? Because that's what I'm struggling with, I feel, at the moment. Making sure that I can get stuff all around. Um... But yeah, other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. Likes, comments, subscriptions, they will help the channel grow. They help get it out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support is very much appreciated. Please don't forget that as a supporter, you do gain access to the save files for any of the open world games that I'm currently playing. In addition to that, I would just like to remind people that the base level for that is only £1 a month. Uh, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.